Sideways SRT back with another banger. So here's a little update of what's going on right now. Basically, so I traded the Lexus. There's no more Lexus. We got no more Lexus. But I traded it for this one right here. I traded the Lexus for this Trans Am. It's a 94 formula. It's a real formula. It's LT1, unfortunately but it is six p manual 138,000 miles it's all original runs good everything's good on it runs real real good but i'm just not really into this type of car right now i had a camaro back then and i had a trans am just like this a long time ago i like the camaros better so if this was a camaro and it was alice one i'll probably not be selling this one but since it's not alice one and it's not a camaro i've been trying to get basically i've been trying to get a new drift build for the channel so i could start actually going to the track with the homies the homie has a a four-door sedan manual just like the one we're about to trade this car for i actually gotta go pick up that car right now so this is the first time you guys are seeing this one but it's also the last time you guys are gonna see it so i'll give you guys a little cold start how she sounds interior is really clean on this one honestly for it being a 94 that's the only rip so it's actually really really clean <sighs> runs good cold ac everything bro this shit's good
build. She's in rough shape. She's definitely rough, but you can hear that motherfucker. She's loud. Yo, yo, so here's another little update. It's the first mod already. I got the airbag right there. Yeah, I took off the fucking battery. Don't, don't even try to tell me shit. All right, so this is it. I got the, got the bumper back on. Tightened up a little bit of stuff. Just cleaning her up. Steering was on perfect. They fixed the door, like I said. That shit is. Look at that. Wow. Like nothing. This one still needs a little bit of work. They're not done with it though, they're still gonna mess with it. But I mean, shit. This is way better than what it was, so look at watch. You just got to put a little force to close this part because this part's broken on the door of the trim. That's why it's kind of making it a little hard to. Look at it. Oh, shit. So that's that right there. So a little bit of some body filler. Make this shit... More better. Just clean it up little but little by little. Just that ain't shit. I mean, it was better than what it is, what it was when I first got it. Cause all this shit was pop popped in and shit. So, so that's it right there. Yo yo. So, I've been driving it for a few days. It's been cool. I like it. It's cool. It drives perfect. It just uh it don't get down it's not wild to dip or anything so that's what we're gonna be doing today i'm gonna clean out my garage move all the fucking cars i gotta go wash this motherfucker too i haven't been driving it she's just been sitting poor girl so i'm gonna clean out my garage it's all dirty for me doing the drop springs on this charger that i just did <clears throat> clean out my garage and get her in the garage so I could pull that diff go take it to the homie to wild it and hopefully get everything good so we can have a private private tonight so we can test that one out see what that one does so stay tuned uh, I'll start recording once we get ready to drop it I'm gonna record this one this time last time I fucked up on the Lexus and didn't record so this time I'm gonna record I got the garage cleaned up. Let's move the cars. Let's see. So we got the car in the garage All the tools right there I just gotta organize all my shit real quick And let's get started While the diff, here we come So I just wanted to show you guys real quick Shit only took me like 30 minutes to drop this motherfucker. So it was just one bolt in the back right there of the subframe. Two main bolts in the front of the diff. The drive shaft. Oh, sorry. The drive shaft right here. Four bolts. And then about six bolts on both sides of the axles right here. I didn't have to move my, my exhaust. Just drop my fucking, what do you call it? sway bar the sway bar and that was it so it's out and go get a wild it and then put it right back in
turn that down before we get copyrighted and shit. We in the truck. I came all the way to the north side. So I get the diff wilded on the, the infinity. driving the truck in a long time i mean it's just been sitting honestly i don't really have a reason why i just don't want to drive it my girl doesn't want to drive it right now either because she's all in love with the fucking jeep she forgot about her truck <laughs> but yeah this is the infinity right here the the diff for the infinity it's already wilded up we're on our way home it's been a long time let me see This is it. Wild the diff. I haven't drove it because it's been raining, but I kind of put some shit together so it won't get wet. All right, well, so here's here it is. Wild the diff. This is the first drive. Let's go test it out. I shortened up the intake. Just a little bit because it was raining earlier. And I was trying to take it out. It like sat down at a corner. The intake like it ran from there and ran under. So I kind of just like got it right there how it is. Then I put like a license plate right here to cover because it's a big ass hole just so water won't get right here fucking hydro lock my engine or something so it's like 12 at night but i'm gonna go hit it real quick see what happens just a little test and then uh just so we can see how it works and then we're gonna be having a private real soon so I could have uh, some real fun. So this is just a little test to see, see how she does. I'm just gonna hit it real quick and then we'll come back home. It's a little glare. 